again, here we are with the waste and overflow. Now, I showed you earlier a different type of waste and overflow. Now, this one here is a trip lever waste and overflow, which operates with the, uh, I'm sure you've seen them, with the uh, lever here, which controls the uh, water leaving, the, uh, leaving out the tub. In order to stop it up or let the water out, you need to control it with this uh, lever right here. Let me give you a closer view here. Okay. Now, if you ever had a problem with the trip lever to where it's stuck, just like this one is here, it's stuck, or when you flip it down, it just keeps flipping back up and it won't, it won't stay where you want it. That's caused by a little spring that's behind here. And this is a, of course, I've told you this before, this is a faceplate. And you can have this whole re uh, faceplate removed and replaced. You can do this yourself. Let me show you. Grab a screwdriver here. Okay. Now let's take the screws out first, of course. So I can show you what the faceplate looks behind. It looks like on the back side. I know you can't see me, but I'm sure you know how to take the screws out. Just twist it and turn it. Okay. It's a good idea to put something over the hole down here at the bottom of the tub. Make sure that the screws don't fall down there. Okay, now, let me show you what this looks like. You see how it's connected back here? I'm going to pull that up, okay? Now, right here in the back, you see that spring I was telling you about? Right here, that spring right here, okay? Usually when that spring gets rusty or broken or worn out, you start having problems with the trip lever. So what you want to do is just take this part here, just this part. You don't even need to take this stopper and everything with you. Just this part right here. Just take this little cotter pin out of here. I'm going to grab a pliers. Okay. Let's straighten this little cotter pin to where it'll slide out of there. Okay, just slide right out. Okay. Now this is it. This is the face plate. This is the back of it. Okay? You can go to any, just about any hardware store or any plumber supply house and just buy just this part. And that will eliminate your trip lever part, your uh, trip lever problems. See how easy this one goes? This is good. Now you may have one that's worn out, the spring's rusted out and just, just dangles. And it's just as loose as I don't know what. Or it may be corroded to where it's frozen shut in one position that hadn't been long used in a while. Maybe it's been a vacant house for some years. Well, anyway, this is what you want to replace. The faceplate. Just take it off, take it with you, get one just like it, put it back in, back in business.